to the uh, page 73, which is petition road safety in Conningham and Lower Snug. There's a recommended motion on page 76. Would anyone like to move? Moved by Councillor Cordova, second by Councillor Midgley. Councillor Cordova. Thank you very much, Mayor. And what we're looking at here is a report in response to a petition requesting Council to assess uh, community safety issues and implement appropriate road safety measures such as warning signs, uh, traffic calming, localised road widening and, and establish clear parking zones in Conningham and Lower Snug. I think this is one example of um, how good it is to work closely with local community organisations uh, where there's a shared common purpose of improving neighbourhood amenity, improving safety and um, improving our municipality. So it's with great pleasure that I move uh, this motion. Some particular things that we need to look at is when it comes to safety there's still um, more investigation that needs to be done but I guess on the prima facie um, so far there is there, there have been a couple of incidents of road vehicle incidents um, uh, one involved a light goods vehicle which missed the bend at the western end of the seawall at night inattentiveness was listed as the crash factor and resulted in property damage only and the other crash was a head-on uh, crash at the bend near the jetty and was reported by the public after the event. It, again, it was listed as property damage only. So even though there have been no reported crashes on Davies Road or Conningham Road in the last five years, and therefore it can be said that there's a low crash history, um, what we're trying to do is make sure that we mitigate risk and that we improve we improve um, the neighbourhood networks. Uh, and we, sh we shouldn't uh, wait until something uh, terrible happens before we do that. But I've, what I found interesting about this report is that the investigation of um, where traffic calming measures were taken in similar areas, such as Clifton Beach, Cremorne, Hawley Beach, um, they used speed humps at regular intervals along the primary foreshore roads. And whilst these speed humps can be effective, it's worth noting that they have a lot of disadvantages. So delayed response times for emergency vehicles, increased noise levels for people living nearby, increased wear and tear for local residents who often have to travel several times a day uh, on those roads. Uh, and, um, and it can be painful to drivers with, um, or passengers with certain injuries or disabilities, and they're dangerous if traversed at high speeds. So it's quite clear that um, there's, there's no one size fits all and it requires further consideration. But what I think this report does speak to is that the section of Old Station Road along the seawall, which was reconstructed in 2002, uh, council can consider some localised widening of the verge um, in parts of that section of road. And Council can also work with um, the Conningham and Lower Snug Community Association, CALSCA, in order to identify um, some road widening and stormwater upgrades. So it's worth noting from the report as well that along a narrow section of Davis Road, Davies Road between the Channel Highway and Needlewood Road, that's already in the five-year capital works program. So without labouring the point, um, it's, a, it's a good... It's a good report and it speaks to the fact that we're willing to work really closely with local expertise, local knowledge and local community organisations to progress some common goals. Um, ultimately, what we want is further investigation to assess current traffic volumes and speeds um, within the Conningham and Lower Snug areas, an audit of existing signage in Conningham and Lower Snug the, in the road network there to make sure that we've got all the appropriate warning signs, consultation with CALSCA to identify wildlife hotspots and also uh, consultation with CALSCA uh, to identify locations where parking controls should be necessary. Ultimately, if major works are deemed necessary, then we'll need to look towards um, traffic calming projects uh, to having a bid within the uh, five-year capital works plan. So I'm very pleased to be um, moving this motion and I just want to commend the author of the report. Um, council staff uh, and the level of engagement that councillors have had with CALSCA and also CALSCA themselves for, for putting forward this petition originally. Thank you, Mayor.